Hey guys, how's it going? Um, got another donation uh, today. Absolutely amazes me, uh, this YouTube community. I'm pretty sure I know who sent this one to the channel. Uh, if you want to be named, let me know. If you don't, uh, that's that's fine as well. But I'm pretty sure, sure I'm 100% sure I know who sent this one to the channel. So thank you very much for that. I will use it. Uh, it is a really gnarly one feels really well built um, hopefully it don't encounter uh, what this one what this one took but uh, I'm not gonna throw this one away uh, I might try to straighten this section out I'll cut these off here straighten this around and this one will be for getting footage on the on the lathe so uh, you know I will recycle it this will be like a in shop or dangerous situation uh, one there so thank you very much what do I have here I went and spent a bunch of money that I really didn't have uh, the prices of chains are just getting insane uh, I'm not gonna lie for what's sitting right here I could have bought a, a roll of chain and, and made these uh, for way cheaper uh, I'm gonna have to eventually get set up uh, just to make my own chains if uh, this is going to become a regular thing, but uh, I got some 20 inchers. Uh, I got two 16 inchers here. Uh, so I got a couple 16 inch uh, 3 8 bars that uh, probably run on the 260s, 026 or 260s. And then uh, these are the two chains for the uh, 660 clone. These is a 16 inch 325 50 gauge and an 18 inch for the 4910s uh because i was told i cannot run my modified uh round filed race chain which you know i'm fine with I, it doesn't matter uh i'm not competing with the the reed saw so i'm going to steal the 16 inch bar off that throw it on the saw that i'm going to compete with and i'm just going to run out of the box chains on all my saws i'm not going to do nothing special with the chains um, I don't care if I win or lose that that part don't don't matter but uh, that way for the guys that show up and want to after the events all over and they want to goof off and cut cookies and test out my saws and stuff you guys will get to see what my saws feel like with just an out-of-the-box chain uh, that way you're not feeling a chain uh, you know, we kind of get more of a feel for the saw however though uh, I know a lot of you guys wanted to know what I did because this, this chain's like a second and a half faster than uh, one of my hand filed jobs. Uh, it's a really good, really good hand filed. The back of the tooth's been cut off. The chain's been lightened up. And I was going to come in on the inside and bubble that out more, but uh, I kind of lost interest in that when I found out I couldn't compete with it, so why bother? So, uh,. But I already did this chain up. It's for an 18, so we'll throw it on the reed saw and we'll just goof off with it. it it'll be, it'll be fun down there just to goof off with. Uh, that reed saw we can only do four four cuts probably maximum anyway before there's a a mal, malfunction and she overheats and melts down. But uh, I'll have that other pipe to 4910 there too to to pass around while the reed saw is cooling down. So we'll we'll switch bars and chains and we'll throw this one. Uh, on the reed with a with an 18 uh, my other option would be is to throw a 3 8 rim on it and then throw that 12 inch with a 3 8 LP on it but uh, I don't know I don't I think we'll be cutting a little bit bigger cookies than that so we'll, we'll do that and then like I said we'll set like I said I'm gonna set all the saws I'll be running down there up with just out of the box chains if one gets a little dollar something we might just give it a couple swipes with a file or something and call it good but uh, I'm not gonna do nothing uh, extravagant but uh, this was not not cheap I, this was a hard hit to the pocketbook but on the plus side is after saw fest all every one of these fit fits one of my work saws so uh, I can get some firewood cut with them so it's it's all good um, I picked up a Pioneer P70, you know, partner. I think Pioneer and partner are merged together, but uh, this one says actual partner. I don't think it's a Pioneer, but it's a it's a P70, pretty cool looking saw. Uh, it's 
mostly there. Uh, the condition that you see it in is how I got it. Uh, looks like it was uh, took apart. I got the air filter here and these pieces and then the carburetor and it looks like some nuts and screws and stuff are in that. In that uh, so I thought about thought about fixing this up, porting it, but uh, Smitty got a hold of me and he really, really, really wants this thing. And I'm I'm thinking uh, I'm probably uh, and it, he wants to do his thing to it if he gets it. And I'm thinking you know I'm not a super duper big vintage guy. I'm not gonna lie, it's a cool saw, but uh, I'm thinking. I don't, I don't know I'm thinking maybe just setting this off to the side and uh, taking it down to Sawfest uh, with me and uh, you know hooking Smitty up with it and uh, let him do his thing with it it is a it is a pretty cool pretty cool saw and, and I'm pressed for time on projects anyway but it uh, for the price I picked it up I I thought what the heck it you know it'd be a good good project for the channel and then you know now smitty's really 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 interested in it so i'm thinking we'll just pass this torch on to him and then uh because i'll still get to see it you know get to be built on his channel and him playing with it and then next year at, at soft fest he'll probably bring it and I'll, i could get to play with it then so e either way it's still still a cool saw and i've I've got, uh, I still got the, the Mac 1010 that uh, took out a bearing. Looks like it's leaking stuff all behind the stove too, but it took out that bearing. I, I gotta go back, I bought a, another parts engine for that thing and bearings and stuff. I, I need to go back into it. I picked up that other 1010, I was gonna use it for parts, but that 1010 right there runs flawlessly. It runs so good I'm not even gonna mess with it. It, it runs absolutely flawlessly so it's like you know don't break something that's not broke i guess uh i'll have to get a video of that sometime for you guys running that 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 1010 right there starts up cuts runs i mean you know it, if i didn't have anything to, to cut with I, I wouldn't hesitate a bit about dragging that out and going and cutting wood with it. it it runs that good it just it runs flawlessly and then i still have my 710 project that uh, I need to get a clutch drum for because I stole the clutch drum off it for my 1010 when I blew up my my clutch drum so I still have this project I can't continue on that 1010 until I get uh, one of these so I need to get I need to hunt down one of these I don't know what you call it, oil tank, lowercase half, something or another. It's it, it's something something like that. I don't know what you'd want to call it. Uh, I was going to steal it out of that one, but it's that one runs so, so good. And I have a another gorgeous cylinder. It's the non-chrome lined one. I, you know, the, the I don't know where the crank is. It's somewhere in here, but uh, the, the piston the rings the the crankshaft and the bearings that are for this engine block are are absolutely an amazing amazing shape so i think i think once i hunt down one of these i can start over on that and i put all that work into building that muffler i'll probably mill out that so i can still run that muffler on there and, and then we're going to go a, different approach putting modern numbers in it and getting that thing to whiz up hard was obviously not the right way to go because i popped it or i don't know if when i blew that clutch drum uh and it locked up completely solid i don't know if that's what torqued torqued that crank and bearing over but uh that thing on the pto side it's got an eighth inch uh slop now on the the, the crank bearing it was still running when i shut it shut it down but that thing's got what all the chamber work and everything i did that thing's got tremendous amounts of compression it uh it was running really good till i popped it and i just i don't know I, I think i need to back it down a notch to keep it together so i wanna that's where my echo other echo bar went i wondered what i did with that i knew i had one somewhere that's sitting on the mac but uh so yeah 
I think we'll pass that torch for the, the P70 uh, down to Smitty because I got that one just needs clean up possibly new spark plug and uh, maybe a fuel tank flush I put gas in it it, does, it runs great the other one I gotta go back into and and rebuild and uh, I got this other handle and stuff we're gonna do a full full wrap on it I'm not done with the max saga yet I haven't gave up yet I just just got to get one of these and get back on it and that'll probably be a project for after saw fest uh, my shop's a mess like a complete mess I got a whole pile of saws down over there in the corner that's all going down to uh, saw fest with me and now I'm getting a phone call so I'm gonna end this video right here guys uh, thank you very much for this I appreciate it and uh, I will try to get you guys another video tomorrow or something you guys take it easy and have a good one